So today we're taking a look at an HDMI multi switcher and what this basically does guys is it allows you to plug in four devices into the switcher and the switcher then puts the device on your screen and you have a couple different configurations that you can display this. So the main mode, you can split it up into four. You also have a mode where you have one large, three small. You have a single mode, two on the side, two in the middle. And last but not least, you have mode five, which basically splits the screens in half. So this will come in handy for anyone who has multiple devices. Or maybe you want to display different content on each. Maybe you have a game, surveillance cameras, anything. This can be very practical. So this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing, see how it works. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So first thing in the box is going to be the switcher. We'll go ahead and put that to the side for now. Next, we're going to have a warranty information as well as the email where you can contact them. We also have an instructional manual, which is going to basically tell you the different modes and everything you need to know about the device itself. After that, we have the DC plug. And then we get a remote controller, which basically gives you full functionality. So below you have your quality, you can switch between different modes, you can go to the multi view, you can switch the individual modes as well. And up top you have a mode audio button and you do have the four way split screen button. Here's the device itself and it just says HDMI 4x1 quad multi viewer. Now on the front you're gonna have buttons. You're gonna have the 720p slash 1080p switch. You're also gonna have your sound. You're gonna have four way, three by one view as well as your single switcher. Now on the left you're gonna have all of your sources, sources one through four, and you're gonna have your IR receiver. Now on the side all it's gonna be is vents so you can basically see all the way through it guys. So air flows through the side. So fine to put something on top or under the bottom. On the back side, you're going to have your DC plug, you're going to have your HDMI out, and then you're going to have your four HDMI ins. Now, as far as the devices I'll be testing on today, I will be using all streaming sticks, but remember that you can use cameras, you can use your, your surveillance systems. If you guys have projectors, you can go ahead and do that. A lot of different use cases that I can think of, but today I'll be testing with the Mi Box, the Fire TV stick, the TiVo Stream 4K, as well as the Google Chromecast with Google TV. So everything's all set up and you see that the power is going to remain on. There's no on and off switch, unfortunately, uh, but the inputs will light up green when it detects the signals. So when nothing's plugged in, it will just be uh, off. Then you have the different mode buttons, the sound switcher, as well as a 720p slash 1080p switch. So not really sure why uh, that switch is needed. If you had to ask me, I'll choose 1080p all the time, but that option is there if you need it. Now on the back, you can see I have a bunch of devices that the fire sticks, everything's powered in. So so up to you how you're going to go ahead and hide everything make it look neat but i don't think it's that hard of a job so here we are with everything set up and just for this video i went ahead and put it underneath the monitor if you guys remember the vents are on the side so it shouldn't really affect the cooling it looks good in my opinion and it makes for a good demonstration so let's go over some of the main buttons Press the first button, it'll essentially just cycle through the different sources, uh, which is pretty cool. So this is just one singular source. You also have the second button, which makes one of these sources large, and the other three sources will be over here, and they'll be a little bit smaller. Now, should let you know that these are in the original resolution, so these are going to look better. However, the large one is going to be cropped, so it's going to be kind of squished, but I think it still works depending what you're trying to do. Now, with the same button, guys, you can still cycle through the different sources. So if you want a different source, to be the main or the big display you can go ahead and do so and the third button right here basically just puts it back to the quad view and that's all it does and next we have the sound button and this basically switches the sound from the different sources so if you guys notice right here the music tone is right there now it's right here now it's up here and now it's up here. So depending where you want to listen to your audio, you do have the option to move that around. And of course you do have the switch where you can switch it to 720p like it is right now, or you can switch it back to 1080p, which is probably the best option for me. I am playing one of my Plex videos. I can go ahead and switch the sound. There it goes right there. Right. And you can see it is the main display, but if I wanted to change that to a different display, I can go ahead and just put it in the bottom. And now I have my TiVo Stream 4K at the top, and now I can do whatever I want on the TiVo. And like I said, this view, the main screen is going to be cropped, so maybe I wanted to put on Netflix or something over here. 
All right, have Netflix running. The audio is not running, but I can go ahead and swap it. And the other one, I do have the fire stick there. So you guys get the idea. And of course, then you have the quad view. And of course, with the quad view, you can go ahead and switch the sound. And you can accomplish that with the remote as well. So you can see I can go ahead and switch the sound. Do have the different modes where I can swap it. Can switch to the different inputs. Pressing the arrows right here. All right, can do dual, single, single again. Go to the different sources. Quad. You have inputs one and two. Then you have inputs three and four. Now just a single input. So like I said, this is a nice little device. Imagine having a big screen with four games or having two games and uh, something else or scores showing out. Uh, this is great for NBA season, NBA playoffs, the Super Bowl's coming up. So maybe you want to have that on one screen, have something else. A lot of use cases for this. I will be taking full advantage of it. If you guys have any questions about this device, just drop it in the comments. Like I said, I will be leaving links. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.